Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a book review on Sepulcher by Kate Moss. Sepulcher tells the story of two women, Leonie Verner and Meredith Martin, born centuries apart, but they are united in their destiny to discover the secrets of a magical set of tarot cards that holds the secrets to life and death. This book is actually number two in the Languedoc series by Kate Moss, the first book being Labyrinth. But you don't have to read these books in order, I don't think. Labyrinth and this book really don't share anything in common. I'll kind of get to what the one thing is they do share in common later, but you can pretty much read this book first, you can read it second, you can even read it third because uh, I think there's a third book coming out called Citadel. So I think you can read the books in, in any order you prefer because I don't think you're going to be confused at all. Kind of like uh, the Dan Brown books, the Robert Langdon series, you know, that you can just read them in whichever order. You can do the same with this as well. I initially wasn't even going to bother reading this book since I just, uh, when I had a reread of Labyrinth. I was just so disappointed with it and kind of bored with it and I was just nitpicking all over the place with it. Just such dry and flat characters and dry and flat storytelling. As I said earlier, the one common thread that this book takes from Labyrinth is that a few characters from Labyrinth do return, but in no way is it confusing. If you do pick up this book first, there may be one particular character that you'll kind of be like, who is that guy? And you he, you won't understand him because he's a very mysterious figure. But if you do read Labyrinth first, then going into this book, you'll understand that character more fully. But once again, the order is not necessary in my opinion. Sepulcher does hit some of the same beats that Labyrinth does. For instance, like Labyrinth, Sepulcher follows two different women who are born centuries apart. In both time frames, the, the two women are looking for the same object. Uh, the story, like in Labyrinth, uh, takes place in pretty much the same general area of France. In some ways, if you have read Labyrinth, Sepulcher might kind of come across as predictable. But I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing because I found Sepulcher a much better read and I really do feel like Kate Moss had a better grasp of her plot and her characters. Like I said, the story takes place in two different time zones. Meredith Martin's character, she is the modern woman, and then Leonie Vernier. Her story takes place in the late 1890s and both the past and the present, both situations and stories, I think, move along at a really good pace. Something I think Kate Moss didn't do very well with Labyrinth was, was the lack of character development and feeling sympathetic for the characters. Whereas here in Sepulcher, I really sympathized with a lot of these characters and I really felt like they grew and developed over time. And I, in general, just really liked the characters. I do think the last 10% or so of this book got a little hectic and confusing, but overall I found the storytelling quite captivating and entertaining and, and it just moved along really fast. And no overabundance of description. That was where Kate Moss went wrong back in Labyrinth. Sepulcher, it has some descriptive paragraphs and some beautiful writing, but it's not so much that it's like, oh god, Jesus. <laughs> it's not so distracting that it takes away from the characters and the story, which is what happens with Labyrinth. I guess my one and only complaint with this novel had to do with the magical tarot cards. There's a big deal made out of these tarot cards, but I, I kind of ultimately felt like the tarot card story didn't go anywhere. There was a lot of lead up, but I never really quite understood what was so special about the tarot cards and why the uh, antagonists were after the tarot cards. Because even on the inside flap, uh, summarizing what the story's about, it says something about the tarot cards holding the secrets of life and death, but I don't think that ever came across in the book. Kate Moss, I don't think she really stressed that enough 
in the storytelling how important the tarot cards were. It's like they were always mentioned and they would always appear, but what was their overall purpose? What were they, ex what were they supposed to do exactly? Overall, my enjoyment of Sepulchre far exceeded that of Labyrinth. If you're someone who really disliked Labyrinth and you haven't wanted to continue with the series, I do highly recommend at least checking out Sepulchre and seeing if you like it. Uh, maybe get it at the library or get it used. But Sepulchre, like I said, just far superior to Labyrinth and I just in general preferred the story and preferred the characters. So have you guys read either Labyrinth or Sepulchre and what did you think? So that's it for this book review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you liked this book review, you may like these other book reviews. Bye guys.